So what I've got here is my little uh, USB spectrum analyzer. It's for uh, 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi channels 1 to 12. And I uh, do use this quite a lot. It's uh, a really, really simple spectrum analyzer. And it gives you a nice graphical representation of the uh, spectrum there. Now, since this uh, appeared in uh, one of my videos, probably getting on for two years ago now, I do get people asking me from time to time where I actually picked this up. And I actually picked it up off eBay. And uh, I've just actually ordered two more of these from the uh, same seller. And uh, he's actually selling these for $26, that's US dollars, and uh, $15 shipping. But uh, he has a uh, make me an offer option and I made him an offer of $16, which uh, he accepted. So I'll put links in the description and uh, if you want one of these, do make him an offer first because, uh, you know, no doubt he uh, will actually accept it. Now, as I say, I really like these and uh, the seller also does a uh, enterprise edition of this, which has an uh, external antenna on the back there with an SMA connector so you can add different uh, antennas to it if you want to you know a directional one for instance but uh, the enterprise edition is uh, what he calls it and uh, he actually sells that for $99 now I did used to have one but um, me uh, actually moving around this last year I uh, can't find it anywhere so what I'm actually decided to do is actually modify one of these basic ones so uh, I can put an external antenna on there and uh, I can tell you that they are exactly the same inside all that uh, the only difference with the Enterprise one is it has an external antenna and the actual software has uh, a couple of extra features there but certainly not worth $99 so what I'm going to do then is uh, crack the case open there and I'll show you how I actually uh, modified this. So uh, it's got an external antenna rather than paying the $99 the seller wants for the Enterprise Edition. You can just pick yourself one of these cheap ones up for around $26, even less if you put an offer in and uh, mod it yourself. And uh, yeah, it becomes a lot more of a versatile little unit then. So to open up this little analyzer, just get yourself something flat. I've got this spudger here. You can use a large uh, flat screwdriver as well. Get in there in between the uh, USB adapter here and just uh, push the uh, top part of the case up and then just gently pry it apart. It's not held in with any glue or screws. It's just these uh, four little pillars here. So I've got the macro lens on here so we can have a closer look at the main chip on this dongle. And uh, this IC is made by the uh, company Cypress and uh, I'll uh, actually link the uh, data sheet in below. And the model number for this is CYRF6936. And you can actually buy this chip separately to actually use with an Arduino. And uh, I have got one kicking around somewhere because I was going to make a uh, portable version of this but I just never got around to it. It's one of those unfinished projects but uh, I may actually dig it out and uh, have a go at uh, putting it together again. I was going to use a display uh, screen from an old uh, Nokia phone and uh, have it display directly to that screen so you didn't have to uh, lug a computer around with you if you wanted to do a quick scan. So to modify this then, to uh, have a uh, external antenna attached to it, what I'm going to have to do is uh, separate this track here because this track here goes directly to that via there and then straight through to the actual ground plane. And uh, the main signal for the uh, antenna comes out here and then through this pattern here and that's the uh, actual antenna itself. So what I'm going to do is sever that there like I said and sever this track around here and expose the tin underneath this so I'm going to actually tin up from about here to here to make a solder pad so I can actually connect my uh, signal wire coax directly to that and then the outer braid I'll actually solder over here where I've cut this track directly to the ground plane so then we can uh, add our coax and then uh, our external antenna. So we don't have to remove any of these components at all. All I'm doing is severing these tracks here and here 
and then I'm going to be soldering directly here and then over here so it's uh, so small I'm not going to be able to do this on camera but uh, we'll get the macro lens out when I finish so you can see exactly what I've done so here's a close-up of what I've actually done then I've uh, cut the trace here and I've also cut it here so this uh, solder pad now where I've got the trace I've just scraped away the solder mask and I've just put a little bit of tin on there that uh, now goes directly to the actual ground plane and here where I've uh, tinned up again scraped the solder mask off uh, slightly there to make a solder pad this is the actual signal wire that goes directly into the chip here so I'm going to be soldering the signal wire on here and the ground plane here so as for the SMA bulkhead connector I'm going to be using one of these and uh, you can pick these up off eBay pretty cheaply but it's got uh, the uh, thin coax attached to it I think it's called LMR90 or LMR80 I can't remember off the top of my head now but it's the kind that you uh, find in laptops and uh, this little pigtail it's got a high rose connector attached to the end which uh, of course I'll be cutting off now uh, I'm going to be using this because of the uh, solder pads being so small on the little analyzer but uh, you could use uh, something like this and uh, you could actually get away with it uh, you know with uh, if you've got good soldering skills but uh, remember with this don't try and cut it off too short to attach to your uh, dongle there try and loop it around a little bit so when you do cut it off say here you've got a little bit of plane there for the distance so you know you can uh, if you uh, do something wrong cut it off a little bit too short you can still pull it on that loop there to actually get it in place now as for the uh, original case it's uh, going to be too small to actually fit the uh, SMA connector in and the uh, actual dongle itself so I'm not going to be using that but uh, I've got the case here from the previous video I did with the worst Wi-Fi dongle in the world and uh, I'm going to be getting some use out of it because I'm going to use this case to actually mount the SMA connector and then house the uh, little analyzer itself now because the uh, hole here is a little bit too big for the SMA connector I could use uh, some epoxy and attach it in place there but what I'm going to do is uh, cut this part of the uh, external antenna off that uh, originally sat in there so it'll just make it uh, much more of a neater job to actually mount the SMA connector so I've trimmed the coax and uh, pre-soldered the uh, outer braid there and the inner core ready to solder on to uh, those two positions and uh, a little tip don't try to use uh, wire strippers to actually strip this thin coax back just uh, use a uh, sharp knife and just do it really really slowly otherwise you end up cutting all the way through so back on the macro lens then and it's soldered in place so you can see what I've actually done I uh, soldered the uh, center connector of the coax down first and then I bent it into this uh, L position here the L shape and uh, soldered the outer braid down to the uh, ground plane over here so what I'm going to do now is uh, modify that uh, case from that cheap Wi-Fi adapter so all this fits inside now because I only want this outer ring here what you need to do is just get some needle nose pliers and pinch those two together and then it comes straight off and the diameter of this outer ring is still a little bit bigger than the uh, nut on the bulkhead SMA connector here but uh, what I can actually do is put uh, a little bit of epoxy in there so we can actually uh, hold that in place like so and uh, I also need to trim this lip off here because I don't need that anymore so I've super glued that outside ring down to uh, one side of the base here and what I'm going to do is uh, feed the uh, SMA connector through and uh, it's quite a nice tight fit but it's not uh, quite tight enough as you can see here so I'm going to get it into position like that and through these uh, little slits here I'm just going to drizzle a uh, small amount of epoxy through there and let it just uh, dribble down uh, using gravity onto the SMA connector and the uh, inside of this ring as well and that should do a good job of actually holding this in place so I can attach an antenna to it so the epoxy is set around that bulkhead SMA there and it's in there, it's really really solid it's uh, not going to come out anytime soon I'm now going to put all this together now because this actual case 
is uh, much bigger than this uh, little USB board here and uh, the original board that was in here was a lot bigger what I'm going to do to actually hold that in place I'm going to turn the board upside down because uh, the most of the heat that this board actually produces is from those two chips underneath here and uh, I've got the uh, other half of the case here and I've got some uh, double-sided foam and I've actually put two strips on there and that will actually uh, it's uh, you know it's quite uh, soft to touch and that's going to uh, butt itself up against the card when I put the two halves together and it should do a good job of actually holding the uh, little board in place in there without using any kind of glue or anything like that it should uh, do a much better job of holding it inside the case than uh, say hot glue would so now that it's actually finished I don't think it's come out too bad at all and uh, to be honest with you as well if you use the links below and have a look at the Enterprise version of this uh, little spectrum analyzer the uh, case isn't too dissimilar to the one that uh, he uses so probably no doubt this particular case is uh, just mass produced over in China because it's that big inside you could actually fit numerous different uh, little uh, USB dongles inside here so if you do get one of the uh, cheaper little uh, spectrum analyzers here and uh, you know you want to uh, have a go at uh, putting an external antenna on there you uh, do save yourself significant money over the uh, $99 that the uh, seller asked for the Enterprise Edition um, you know over the uh, $26 that he actually asked for one of these so well worthwhile modification so any questions below and uh, if you are after a uh, simple spectrum analyzer for work for wi-fi definitely well worth getting one of these it's probably the cheapest out there on the market that i've ever found anyway so you know if you did uh, enjoy the video and you got something out of it then please give it a uh, thumbs up questions below and uh, hopefully you'll join me on the next one